It's Tuesday morning and we're all finally dressed and ready to face our day. And the first thing I need to know is I need to know what I'm supposed to use today from my basket. So we're gonna have a drawing and Charity's gonna be our drawer today. And we're gonna see what I have to cook. Are you ready, Charity? All right, let's see what we get. Dun, 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 dun. Um, hollandaise sauce. Oh, that's easy. I can eat that for breakfast this morning. Can we have another one? Bingo! All right, that's an easy one today. Thank you very much. It's like a pretty easy recipe if I remember how I did it last time. The kids have lots of energy this morning. Lots and lots of energy. Isn't that right, Art? Yes, it is. All right, well, while the butter's melting, I gotta read the rest of the recipe. And it says, Melt butter in a small saucepan over medium heat. Stir in contents of one packet misc with a wire whisk. Gradually whisk in water, bring to a slow simmer, about constant, stirring constantly for about five minutes. Well, that's easy enough. Hollandaise sauce certainly is the perfect food for breakfast. And what else goes with breakfast but coffee? So I'm going to bite the bullet and grind these once and for all and get them going so I can start drinking my coffee and get this gone by November. Oh, I think they looked ground up enough. Let's pop the top and see. It smells like coffee. Looks and smells like coffee. It smells good. I do really do enjoy coffee. Me too. I, me too. Why too. did I wait so long to do this? I don't know. It's, it's I easy will I need to have a cup of me. A little thicker than I thought it would be. Are you going to be able to use all of that? No, it's serving for six. Oh. We'll see how it tastes. We're just heading out. Today is election day. And we're going to pick up Daddy and head out to the polls with all the kids as part of our school and learning about U.S. government. Being lakefront. Mommy and Daddy are getting ready to vote. A quick whip together a uh, lunch. Yesterday I had made some beans. I think you, I may have shown you guys that it was pinto beans and the pressure cooker except I didn't like the recipe when I finished with them and tasted them they were super super bland and that's not how I like my beans I like my beans super flavorful a little bit of spice to it so um, Charity watched the girls for me for a little bit and I doctored up the stuff no, and then I quick then I quick threw together uh, some cornbread which is almost done and we're gonna have cornbread and beans for our lunch you want to put Baba in the chair? Hey, oh, yes, that was, yeah, there we go. Have a seat. Hey, Daddy! Hey, Daddy! Here comes Daddy! There are the girls waiting. Hey, Daddy! Hello. Everybody is eagerly anticipating your arrival. I am here. Finishing up our cake that Janelle made last night from two of our items in the basket. And, and Janelle is getting a picture and putting it on her Facebook. Charity's going to make the dump cake, apple pie filling, cake mix, um, crushed pineapple. How do you think it'll taste, the dump cake? Um, probably pretty good. This basket challenge is going to make me fat because when I told you guys that everything that was going in the basket was sugary, there's, that's no lie. Two days in a row we've had cakes and such. Charity made a... Uh, one of you guys had suggested a uh, dump cake with apple pie filling, crushed pineapple, and our lemon cake. So she made that. And of course it tastes good, so everybody is eating it at the moment. But I think that's probably enough, guys, or else there's going to be none left for your daddy. Mm. Daddy will eat the rest of that. Oh, dear. That's a pretty bad <laughs> This is bad when I get on a sugar cook because it's taken me a long time to get off of sugar and to be doing this. This is just going to be like so bad for us. But this afternoon the girls and I were, I was actually working on some freezer menus. Um, I found a website that had everything that is, you can print out, the recipes, the whole works, which is really awesome. And all the recipes look like ones that I would really like. So I went ahead and did that, but while I was working on that, I split the screen in half and the girls were watching how to um, make cupcakes and then sugar cookies, cookies that you slice and you bake and they have the pretty colors and shapes. Well, we were watching how to do those and then 
I was watching how to do buttercream roses and how to decorate them. And we were just like on a total sugar high, not eating it, but actually watching the show while I was doing my menu plan. So I'm just warning you now, this could be a very interesting month, particularly in the weight gain department, because mm -hmm. I don't think we've eaten like this in a long time. I need weight gain. I really do need weight gain because I'm small. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe... I want to get fat. Maybe what we should do for the beginning of this challenge is everybody gets weighed, and then we should weigh ourselves at the end of the month to see <laughs> what the damages are. This site was pretty cool because here's the whole shopping list of everything you need for these recipes, and then you can just print out the recipes. And they have crock pot Hawaiian chicken, garlic honey chicken, chicken fajitas, chicken catatori, tortilla soup, southwestern chicken, crock pot ranch tacos, that one sounds good, Philly chicken sandwiches, Spicy chicken over yellow rice, and lastly, barbecue chicken. These are all crock pot freezer meals that someone had put together, and I have that huge bag of boneless chicken breasts that I had bought in bulk. I think it's about 10 pounds, and I'm ready to use that up. So, here comes somebody. Hi, Mary. You got up. Did you have a good nap? Did you sleep in your big girl bed or did you go in the crib? Were you in the bunk bed? Oh, I'm glad you had a good nap. It's Tuesday night, which means I'm on call tonight and I didn't really know what I was doing for dinner because I worked on my meal plan, freezer meal plans all week. So I'm going to my favorite recipe, best ever tuna noodle casserole. The kids love it, I love it, and it goes, comes together pretty quickly. This is what the tuna noodle casserole looks like after it's baked. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to dig in. Did you eat what are you cake? eating, Grace? Mm -hmm. Say, Mommy found out that I enjoy peas. Now, they're probably not the healthiest peas. They're the peas in the can. But say, I like them. Uh-oh. 